Litchi has made several updates to their app since I made my last video. The updates for iOS include the addition of an Orbit feature also known as POI or Point of Interest. Let's go over a few of the other changes that they have added in addition to Orbit. On the right side of the main screen we now have a record button and a slider to select from video or stills, a very nice addition. Part of these updates included an auto-sync for saved missions. This works with Litchi's web-based mission hub. Using the mission hub website, I can create missions and save them and they will automatically sync with any of my devices running Litchi. The upper left corner of the screen now has a mode indicator next to the Litchi icon. The other mode is Orbit and you can set this mode using the Litchi icon. In my previous video, this button allowed for screen recording only. It has now been expanded to include mode settings and your Litchi login for Mission Sync. I also wanted to point out that when you use the screen recording feature, it records the audio from the iOS device. This allows you to do a live commentary as you fly. Pretty slick. Litchi defaults to waypoint mode, so we'll switch to orbit mode, like so. Notice that the app switches to map mode automatically as it assumes you want to have that view to create your flight plan. On the left side of the screen, the mission tools have all disappeared. The ease and simplicity with which you set up the orbit mission obviates the need for these tools as well as the tools for creating waypoints, etc. I will create an orbit around the observatory so that we have a mission to compare to both Go and AirNest. To do this, I just tap on the map at the location I wish to use as my target or point of interest. This creates a default orbit mission around the point where I tapped. As with waypoints, you can touch and hold the POI icon and move the point of interest. Once you are happy with the location of your POI, you can tap the icon and the settings for the orbit mission will appear. First up is altitude. It defaulted to 97 feet, so I will change that to 61 feet to match the previous tests. Radius is 65 feet and that looks fine. Then we have the speed given in degrees per second instead of miles per hour like Go or AirNest. I just took the default for my tests here. Below that is the entry point and heading mode. I have not played with these and just used the default values you see here. Below that is subject height. This is used to control the gimbal pitch angle. The lower the height, the farther down the gimbal will point. And finally, start will run the mission. When the mission is running, a square button appears on the left center of the display. The mission will run and continue to repeat. Tapping this square button will stop the mission and the quad will hover in place. A nice aspect of this is that you can stop the mission at any time and adjust its parameters and run it again. Here I am flying the quad over to a spot close to where the mission will run. Oddly, Litchi seems to have placed my point of interest into the left part of the frame instead of centered. I had the default heading mode of center set, so I have to assume this is a bug in the software. Other than that weirdness, it looks pretty smooth. I ran the mission twice. I wanted to adjust the point of interest altitude to make the gimbal aim down a bit more. And again, sped up in post so that you can see the movement. 
In conclusion, I think this looks pretty nice. Overall, I think Litchi has done a great job with this app. It's flexible, has a pretty low learning curve as opposed to, say, autopilot. And the smoothness of the orbit mode is top notch. Hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, this is the RC Retard signing off.